In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a WordPress Ninja form to submit data to an API on Rapid API, get the data back and display it to your users. And we're going to do this all with Pabbly Connect. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to build it. So first of all, let's look at our form here. It's a very basic form. We have a zip code and a button, very basic. I'm going to put a US zip code in 33101. We get a message says it's getting weather conditions and here are our weather conditions. So the zip code I entered is for Miami, Florida, and we can see the temperature there is 83 degrees, a few clouds, 6.9 mile per hour winds, uh, relative humidity is low visibility. Anyway, we get all this data back from the API. It even includes sunrise and sunset. So let me show you how I built this form. We're over here in Ninja Forms, and again, like I said, it's a very simple form. We're just submitting a zip code. If you use a different type of API, you might want to send more or different information to that. But we're using the zip code field, and it's required. We have a button here. And then we have this weather conditions HTML field. And so what I've done here is I've used the query string for the different pieces of information we need on this page. I have pulled them out of the URL that came back from our from Pabbly Connect and the API. I'll show you how to do that in a second. I've got this in here and it displays it when it comes back. So it's pulling the city, the state zip code, for example. So if we go back and look at our URL up here, we can see we have a city parameter. And it's Miami. Here's a state parameter, Florida, and zip code is 33101. So that's how this is displaying on this page. And there's a lot of applications for this. Uh, I know people who will uh, hit an API and bring back a little bit of information and will sell the full information as a report. Um, that can be done through the API. But this, in this case, I just brought basically everything back from that the API gave us. So let's look at our form again. Uh, so this is our weather conditions. I have a hidden form down here called returned zip code. And what it is doing is it, it's putting the zip code from our URL into this field. The reason this field is here is so I can do some conditional logic because when I don't have results, I want to hide this uh, because there's still some labels here. It would just be messy. It would just be empty looking if we had this. So let me show you how that works over here to advance to our conditional logic and the return zip code, that hidden field, when it equals blank, we're going to hide the weather conditions field. And when it's not blank, we're going to show that. So that's why back over here, this shows up now, but before when I had, uh, before I submitted the zip code, it's not there. So that's what that, that field is there for. All right, let's go over here to our emails and actions. I just have two actions. I have that success message that says getting weather conditions, and then I have a redirect to webhook. This is typically where when somebody submits a form, you would redirect them to a thank you page, but we're actually redirecting to the webhook in Pabbly uh, Connect, and Pabbly is going to redirect people back to our page with the results. So you can see here, here is our webhook URL. And right here I have one parameter. So when you add parameters, the first one has to have a question mark in front of it. The rest have to have ampersands and we'll see that in a little bit. So I have, I have a question mark zip code equals, and then I have my zip code field. So what's happening is we're redirecting to that webhook. The items are going to run and process in Pabbly Connect. And then the last step in Pabbly Connect is going to bring us back to our page. So let's go over and look at Pabbly Connect. All right, so I have Pabbly Connect over here on the left and our US weather by zip code API information from Rapid API over here on the right hand side. My app that I've chosen is Webhook by Pabbly, and here's the webhook that Pabbly created for me. And that webhook is over in our Ninja form. We just copied it and put it in there and redirected and added that zip code parameter to it. So next what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we're using API by Pabbly. And right over here is our information for our API. So you can see the method is get. So right under here, action event is get. We have a URL here for uh, our endpoint. So we're going to copy that US weather by zip, da, 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 get weather zip code. Uh, we're going to say no authentic authentication because we're going to do this with headers. So I've got two headers here over in our API information. There's our API key. And here is our rapid API host. So I simply just copy those here and copy the values for those here. 
Now our parameters, we have to send information to the API for them to get the weather for us. So that is called zip. And then zip code, this is the zip code that we mapped from our webhook right up here. Okay, so we have our webhook, sends the zip, zip code data. We're going to hit the API to get the weather. And now we have to send this back to WordPress. So again, we're going to go back to this page and we're going to add some parameters in that URL to show that on our page. So the way we do that is we're using the data forwarder by Pabli. We're going to do the action is redirect to, and then here is our redirect URL. So our redirect URL starts with our WordPress URL. This is our WordPress URL here. And then I add those parameters to the URL. If you're not familiar with parameters and how to use those, I'm going to put a link to a, a really great article that explains that in the description is, of this video. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on how parameters work. You can take a look at that article. But basically, I have my city here. Again, this is going to start with a question mark and I have city and I've mapped the city and then I do an ampersand state and I've mapped the state ampersand zip code, I've mapped the zip and on. So that's that's all the information that I want to transfer back to my site. Uh, redirect status, I just selected 303 other. And that is that is our three step Pabli uh, workflow that we're going to use. OK, so that's what that looks like. I'm going to go back over here and run this and I'm going to go to my history for Pabli. And let's run this. Let's do a different zip code 72602 and hit enter. All right. So here's our results. All right. So here is our incoming webhook. You can see zip code equals 72602, which is what I've got right over here. And then the next thing that happens is we're going to hit that API, that weather API. And so we have Harrison, Arkansas is 50 degrees Fahrenheit, Harrison, Arkansas, 50 overcast 5.8 mile per hour winds, wind direction south. All right, so this is all of our data that came back from that API. What we're going to do next is look here at our data forwarder. And as you can see, here is the URL. And if I scroll across here, we see city, Harrison, state, Arkansas, zip code 72602, temperature 50.0. So right here is where our data was loaded up on this URL and then it redirected us back to our WordPress page where our Ninja form showed the information in that HTML block. And then we've got an empty form here. We can type another zip code and we can keep doing this as much as we want. So this is how you can use a WordPress Ninja form and Pabli Connect to go and hit data from a third party API, bring that data back and show it on your WordPress site. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give me a thumbs up and a like, leave a comment. Let me, let me know what you think. What did you like about this? What did you not like about this? What did I miss? Uh, tell me what you think about this and I hope to see you next time.